Hi, this is Dr. Zhang Liu. I'm a social professor with the Department of Mechanical Engineering at Texas A&M University. In this short video, I'm going to talk about smart building operation for optimal control and energy performance monitoring. We're going to start from the a brief introduction of a smart building with the definition of the smart building and then we'll provide uh, prescriptions of how a smart building will work. In this short presentation, we're also going to cover some examples with the optimal control and energy performance monitoring in smart buildings. Smart buildings. The global smart building market size is projected to reach US dollar 109.48 billion by 2026. So this shows a compound annual growth rate of 12.6 during the forecasting year. So you can see um, in 2018, the market price is only about uh, 43.6 billion, less than 15 billion. So what's the small building? The figure on this slide shows the key components of the small building. These include sensors and actuators, smart control devices, networking and communication, software platform, and HVAC system. By definition, a smart building is a building with sensors and IoT devices controlled by a building automation system. A smart building uses automatic processes to control the building operations, including HVAC, lighting, security, and other systems. A smart building uses sensors, actuators, microchip, etc. to collect data and manage it. A smart building improves building reliability and performance, which reduces energy use, improves occupant thermal comfort, and minimizes the environmental impact of the buildings. So how does the smart building work? The figure on these slides shows a generic smart building working principles. In summary, the smart buildings use the information technology during the operation to collect a variety of the subsystem. So these systems can share the information to optimize total building performance, this including energy consumption and also occupant um, the comfort. Smart buildings look beyond building equipment. They are connected and responsive to the smart power grid. And they interactive with building operators and occupants to empower them with a new level of the visibility and actionable information. So the brand of the smart building is this uh, uh, building automation system as shown in this, in this figure. For the building automation system, beyond having a traditional building auto automation system as shown in the figure on these slides, smart buildings have the following key features. Smart building have a large amount of sensors and the meters. Smart building connected the building people and the technology, connect the building and the power grid. Smart building use the predict models to make the decision. These include model predictor controls. Smart building use the big data analytics for decision making. These include real-time building performance monitoring. In following slides, 
we will cover some examples of model PDK controls and real-time building performance monitoring. So what's the optimal control? For the model PD control, how does it work? In principle, model PD control requires dynamic models to predict the future response of the plant. This includes building, building's HVAC equipment system, and make control decision to minimize the predefined cost function. This figure on these slides shows an example of advanced building control architecture um, of the model PD control design and implementation. The control application includes optimization and uh, control oriented models. And then those control application, application need to be communicate connected to building automation system through a middleware. This example shows uh, uh, occupancy-based control. So based on the occupancy forecasting, a real-time um, HVAC optimal operation was uh, demonstrated uh, in a real building. Within the for weather forecasting and the occupancy information, the building automation system um, we'll make a decision after some new control policy. Uh, for example, supplier temperature set point, uh, room air temperature set point, and then those decision is based on a dynamic building system model and uh, optimization uh, solver. Um, the result from this demonstration uh, is showing on the right figure. Uh, compared with the post-retrofit system with the advanced uh, DDC system, this model period control using occupancy information achieved at least 13% uh, energy savings. Uh, energy savings uh, numbers uh, is vary uh, from 13% to up to 47%. Another example for model PD control is for chiller plant with thermal storage tank. The model PD control was used to schedule chillers and uh, thermal storage tank operation schedules. So this includes the thermal storage tank charge discharge time, the chillers uh, supply water temperature side point, and uh, the chillers uh, staging uh, sequence. The result sh shows about 70%, 7% system efficiency gain uh, as uh, this uh, as demonstrated uh, in UC Mossad campus. Uh, the figure on the right uh, basically uh, compared the baseline schedule and uh, MP the schedule proposed by the MPC. So that's a few uh, examples about energy performance monitoring. So how does the energy performance monitoring work? In here, we have a reference model from the whole building simulation program, NG+, we also have data stream uh, from actual buildings. Uh, those data directly come from building automation system. After we conduct a comparison of the two data streams, we uh, visualize the comparison, and then everything um, is integrated together through an integrated software environment using building control virtual test bed. The example on these slides 
shows the another feature of the energy performance monitoring data collection and the visualization. The data from the transition building automation system uh, were collected and then used to uh, generate generalized those the pie chart and uh, those uh, um, different plots. Uh, on the right hand side, uh, the visualization shows the uh, some diagnostic result and the long score based on uh, four detection diagnostic features is going to cover in next slides. So since we have uh, been collected so many um, data from uh, building automation system, advanced data analytics with automatic fault detection diagnostics uh, were conducted to help us to better monitor uh, building performance. Um, so again, um, the two data streams were uh, collected, once from uh, whole building performance simulation model, otherwise from uh, uh, measured uh, data uh, in the building automation system, a BMS. After the comparison, you can see the division between the difference between the two data streams. Um, then um, we can do further analysis to see why there's a difference uh, between the measurement data and the calibrated model you know, prediction. So in this case, uh, through this comparison, we identified two issues in this week. One is related to lights was turned on over light. Other one is related to chillers, the free cooling control sequence. By correct these two faults, um, about 8.45% savings from lighting system, about 5.28% savings for chiller was demonstrated in that week at the building level. So in summary, smart building operation through the optimal control and energy performance monitoring have been demonstrated uh, in different uh, buildings, including some DOD uh, sites. Um, those demonstrations show achievable energy savings and improved occupant thermal comfort. And uh, another uh, conclusion from those demonstrations is the imp implementation cost um, is more and more reasonable and more scalable right now. So there's a potential for us to have smart building operation through optimal control and energy performance monitoring in more buildings. There's a strong interest in, uh, in the building industry uh, to promote smart building operation. Big players include some US company, Honeywell, uh, Cisco, uh, IBM, um, uh, etc. Some foreign countries, uh, foreign companies, including Johnson Controls, um, HBAR, uh, Siemens, Schneiders, ABB, they all play very uh, big roles in this market. This concludes this short presentation on smart building operation. Thank you.